What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and today we're going to take a look at the best Valkyrie cam locations on the new rework of Canal. Now just before we jump into the video, I want to let you guys know that I stream over on Twitch every single day. I'll be hosting regular tournaments, playing with viewers and chilling out on PC and PS4. So if you want to join up, make sure to follow the link down in the description. Now new tips and tricks videos are coming. I've been a little bit reluctant to post them as the test servers are still up and they're making a lot of changes to the game. So I want to wait for the test servers to be finished so that I can bring you some new tips and tricks that won't be changed and will be ready for you to use upon the new season coming out. So let's get started on these Valcam locations, starting off with the first one here located in the Divers Room. So for this first spot guys, it's pretty straightforward. As I said, located down in the diver's room. If you place the cam on the underside of the vent between the two red bags on top of the lockers, you'll be able to watch that whole diver's room, including the big window to the left where you can actually see out once the window is open and watch for anyone trying to get in the lockers window across the other side. And of course, anyone coming down from that main stairs from the first floor down to the basement. On the same floor guys located in the supply room corridor there is a vent running across the entire ceiling the whole length of the hallway now you'll be able to place a valcam between the vent and the wall there's a small little gap so you can throw your valcam up there and you'll be able to watch that whole supply room corridor including the door coming in from the lockers So moving upstairs onto the first floor guys and this one is just off the blue stairs on the radio room hallway. Now there is a bunch of cables running along the top of the ceiling and right up against the wall there's a small little gap where you can place the cam up on the ceiling. Now from here you can actually watch some parts of that blue stairs and of course the radio room hallway which will be a high traffic area for enemies pushing the objective. So moving just inside the doorway guys and this one takes us inside the radio room itself. Now just over in the corner where all the control panels are, you're able to throw a Valcam up on the top of the vent in the corner. Now all you have to do is jump up on top of the table and aim just above the vent and you'll be able to get the Valcam on that little back piece of the wall. Now the view from this Valcam is slightly narrow but it is still enough to be able to see the most important areas of the room for any enemies pushing towards the objective. Now taking us across the hall into the lounge room, there is a really nice little Valcam spot that you can use, especially when the bomb site is located in the room for watching anyone who gets into the side for that plant. Over in the corner of the room next to the flag, you'll be able to place a cam just on the underside of the flag itself. Staying in this area again guys, just going across the hall into the Coast Guard room. This is a really cheeky little Valcam spot that you can use. If you stand on the desk in the corner of the room, you'll be able to place a Valcam on the hanging pot from the ceiling. Now you just need to aim a small bit above the actual pot itself and you'll be able to place the Valcam right in the center of the bush. Thank you. 
Moving just off the core scout room guys and we're out in the archives hallway. There is a really nice Valcan spot located just above the vent inside the door frame. Now all you have to do guys is aiming between the pipe and the vent you'll be able to place the Valcam just above the vent on top of the ceiling. Now any enemies trying to push towards Coast Guard coming down this hallway will find it very difficult to spot this cam and you can give that extra information to your teammates. Onto the next Valcam spot guys and this one takes us over towards the other side of the building in the model room just off the bridge. Now what you can do here is you can actually place a Valcam on the other side of the desk in the corner of the room. Now from here you'll be able to watch any enemies coming across that bridge into that model room. Now you will only be able to see from their legs down but it is enough to be able to watch that whole section and give those callouts to your teammates. Moving just inside the door off model room guys and we are inside the security room for this Valcam spot just inside the door to the left above the control panels and monitors if you shoot a small bit of the ceiling out you'll be able to place a Valcam on the metal beams above. Now from here you'll be able to watch the whole security room for any enemies trying to make that push through the room towards the objective. Onto the next Valcam spot guys and this one takes us over into the kitchen. Now what you can do here is by shooting the cans inside the fridge just up under the counter you'll be able to place a Valcam inside the top shelf. Now I will admit from this spot there isn't a huge amount you can see but it's still a very very secretive cam that will make it very difficult for the enemies to spot and you'll be able to give that extra bit of information to your teammates. up to the top floor for this next Valcam spot guys and this one is located inside the server room. Now above on the ceiling there is a bunch of vents, cables and mesh fencing. You can actually place the Valcam above the mesh fencing and just alongside the vent and it's going to be very difficult for the enemies to spot this cam and it does watch over the entire server room. to the next one guys and this one just takes us inside the doorway into the control room and from here you can actually throw a Valcam out through those small little windows on top of the light pole outside. Now this is an amazing cam where you can watch anyone coming in from any of the spawns on that side of the map and you can even use it as a C4 spot to catch anyone who's coming and to push across to the other side of the building.
So that is it for the video today guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Now just before I let you go, as I said before, I stream over on Twitch every single day, so make sure to drop it a follow, the link is down in the description. I will be streaming a little bit just after this video. Now as well as that, I will be doing a giveaway very soon, I'll be giving away a headset and a rally major charm as well from the recent Rainbow Six event that took place there. I will let you know some more information on that in the coming days ahead. Now if you have any tips or tricks that you want to have featured in one of my videos, make sure to join up on my discord there's also a link in the description to that and you can post any of those tips and tricks in there and you never know you might see it in a future video now if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know me upload our next video and as always yeah oh!